It's UVM Newsday with Abby Parker and Luke Gajewski, directed by Melissa Raven. Good afternoon, UVM. I'm Luke Gajewski. And I'm Abby Parker. And here's what happened at UVM this week. As of Wednesday night, Springfest will officially be outside, rain or shine. While most people were thinking it was going to be inside due to the forecast, you UVMers did a great job staying off the CVW grass and keeping it from getting muddied up. Tickets are back on sale now that it is official, so get yours before it's too late if you haven't already. That's exciting. Yeah, weren't you? You're in UPB. Yeah, So I did am. you help make that decision? Um, I wasn't part of it, but I know uh, that a lot of students... you low on the totem pole. I am lower on the totem pole, mm -hmm. but I know yeah. that a lot of students were really advocating to have it outside, yeah. and I think that was key in the decision. I know a lot of people that said they were going to sell their tickets mm -hmm. if it was going to be inside, so... Yeah, yeah, and the added bonus to us having it outside is that there are now 1,600 extra tickets. Yeah, and there's a beer tent, right? Mm-hmm. Uh, I think so, yeah. Are they going to card at that? I hope so. Cool. Yeah. Me too. This May, six SGA Senators, including our own Abby Parker, will be headed to Washington, D.C. They will be talking to the offices of Senators Bernie Sanders and Patrick Leahy, as well as Congressman Welch, about student financial aid. The trip will last two days, and they are hoping to spread some catamount pride. Yeah, I heard that they're going to make some good progress and do some good work down there. Mm -hmm. Well, I hope you have a hand in that. Yeah, I hope so. I'm going to talk to them about uh, student financial aid and then hopefully find Michelle Obama. Cool. What are you going to say when you find her? If I'm going to say I'm a huge them. fan. Where's Beyonce? Okay, cool. That's what I'm going to say. Let me know how that goes. I will, yeah. If I end up in jail, I assume UVM TV will bail me out. Yeah, you spend a lot of time <laughs> in and out of jail, don't you? <laughs> yeah, I do. Yeah. I've spent time. Well. To show how grateful they are for the support, UVM Athletics will be throwing a fan appreciation day from 12 to 1.30 next to Virtue Field. According to the UVM Athletics webpage, the UVM men's and women's lacrosse teams will be hosting a doubleheader on Saturday. The women's team faces Stony Brook at 11 a.m. and will be followed by the men's game versus UMBC at 1.30 p.m. Both programs will recognize their seniors in pregame ceremonies. Following the men's game, fans will have an opportunity to have a post-game pass and catch with the UVM team members. The event is free to UVM students and $5 to the general public. There will be live music as well as food and lawn games. That sounds like a pretty cool event. Yeah, I get to like pass with some lacrosse players. Yeah. It's pretty cool. Just like that. Just like that. That's how we play pass. Yep, it is. Last week, students in Greek life went to Montpelier to prevent state legislators from passing a law that would tax fraternity and sorority houses. The houses are currently exempt due to their organization's nonprofit status. According to the Student Life Office at UVM, the 750 members of the eight fraternities and six sororities at the University of Vermont will raise $140,000 for chari charitable causes this year and volunteer more, t more than 20,000 hours to community causes. The taxes would be a financial burden on the organizations, one they couldn't afford. According to a source in Greek life, some national chapters were ready to sell the houses the day the law passed. So hopefully that goes well for them. I know a lot of people in Greek life that are really nervous about that. So. Yeah, it sounds like it's a pretty pre pressing issue for all of them. Yeah, I think it's on hold for now, but if it gets passed, it'll go into effect July 1st. And I think UVM and Champlain will be the first to buy the houses wow. if they do have to sell them. It's pretty scary. Yeah, I guess um, Greek life nationally is pretty upset with UVM, but it's not UVM, it's a state law, so mm -hmm. we'll see what happens with that. Yeah, well, best of luck to them. Yeah. Well, that was our season finale. Yeah. It's been quite a run, huh? It has. Thanks for being a great co-host. Thank, Thank you. you to everyone for watching. Yeah. Credit we goes to Abby Parker, the one who pretty much put this whole show together. And we have our Melissa Ravid behind the scenes. Melissa, come say hi. Melissa, come say hi. Melissa. Come on. Get Mel up here. Melissa. Oh, you suck. Oh, uh, she's here coming up. This is going to be great. Well. Yeah. Oh, come get here. here. <laughs> you gotta, come on. Come, come on. Come on. We'll smile. This will be good. We'll, we'll smile together. Yeah. Yeah. This is Melissa Raven. She's pretty awesome. Yeah. Thanks for filming. Yeah. So from all of us here at UVM TV, um, have a great summer, UVM. And if you want to join our crew, email us at uvmtv at uvmtv.org. So have a great summer and stay safe.